Hi, this is Jenny with Nutrition University, and today we are down to the number two most popular struggle with eating well and figuring out how to do nutrition right. If you haven't watched any of the other ones, go back and take a look at the other videos. And today, number two is shopping, time, and planning. It's pretty much I don't have time for any of it. I don't have time to shop, I don't have time, and I don't have time to plan. And I'm going to tell you how you can fix that struggle or serve or get around that struggle. A couple things to keep in mind. One is that planning can be not nearly as complicated as you think it might be. I have a friend who was talking about meal planning and she was trying to cook for her entire family, a family of four, and she was trying to do it all in one Sunday. That's a lot of meals. 20 meals in one go? I wouldn't do that. There's no way I would ever do that. How do you define planning? How are you going to make that happen? For me, planning means I make a big pot of brown rice on a Sunday or maybe even on a Monday evening. It means I might have a bunch of veggies that are already chopped in the fridge. If you're still eating, eating meat, then it may mean that instead of cooking one chicken breast, you cook a whole package so that you have easy fix-ins for a lunch or maybe even for a dinner when you come home. My personal favorite meal planning is that I always have this pot of brown rice at the ready. I have a cupboard full of beans and there's always some salsa in my refrigerator. The three of them together makes a quick and easy meal at any time. Which brings us now to shopping. When are you going to shop? I'm telling you, you need to find some more time in your super busy schedule to try and shop. Well, chances are you spend at least a little bit of time at the supermarket one day at least during the week, right? You're either running in to grab something for lunch, maybe it's a sandwich at the deli counter, or something like that. How can you make a list? You can make a list. You can either have a running list at home. This is something that I do. There's always a little pad of paper on the counter and when we run out of something or I think of something, I just write it down. And then on the day when I know I'm going shopping, I just rip that list off. I don't have to spend any time, it's all there for me. And if I miss something, I can always go back. Another way to do it is to take just 30 seconds to one minute before you walk into the store. You're probably going to be looking at your phone anyway. Take a minute to think about what you want to buy before you go into the store. This way you are much more efficient with your time instead of roaming around all of the aisles trying to figure out what did I need. You have your list and again even if you don't get every single thing you need, you'll come out with way more of what you need and much less of what you don't. Now I cannot add more time to your day. Only you can figure out how you want to arrange the time in your day. Take one step at a time. This is what New You is all about. We are trying to help you to take that one step at a time. It starts with one meal, one snack, one day. Pick one of those things that we just talked about. So can you put some things into your refrigerator that are going to be quick and easy grab and go snacks? Another great idea for that is to do pre-cut veggies. You can get now broccoli, cauliflower, snap peas, carrots, and probably a whole host of other things at the supermarket that you can just wash, definitely wash them, but you can wash them or bring them with you to the office. Wash them at the office. Nobody's going to see what you do in the bathroom anyway. So bring them in, wash them, have them. You can stop at the supermarket and pick up a quick little container of hummus and you can have a great snack anytime you want. So figure out what one thing you are going to do to rearrange that time and to find just a little bit of time in your day so that you can time you can have time, you can shop, and you can maybe make a little bit of a plan. And tomorrow we are finally at the number one thing that everyone struggles with. So just remember you're not alone as you're going through these struggles. I'll see you tomorrow.